Thank you for welcoming me on your screens. I'm Eddie, reviewing Batman The Long Halloween, and this is the rollback. Uh, sorry for the bit of change. I literally just finished the movie like maybe five minutes ago, if that long. Uh, and I wanted to try and do these video reviews more often, so here you go. I promise we're going to try to improve the quality as we go. So that said, Batman The Long Halloween just came out. Uh, it is based on a long-running comic a comic that, uh, funny enough, actually helped to inspire, helped Christopher Nolan create uh, the Dark Knight trilogy. You can especially see it in the first two movies, where the uh, where the mafia is very uh, present in it. You know, Carmine Falcone, Maroni, and, and all that jazz. Um, this movie is an animated feature. It's the latest in DC's kind of new animated feature lineup, uh, and it does have the same art style as the other ones, where it's a bit of a halfway mix between modern art style and the old school vintage, you know, the manner in which they're drawn. Different, but I like it. Um, and this book is actually only part one. Um, again, some more background. Uh, the Long Halloween is an iconic Batman story. It follows uh, Batman when he's on one of his first big boom murder cases. Uh, it's It really showcases him as a detective, not so much, you know, the, the flips and the fighting and you know, all that jazz. Uh, it concentrates more on the intellectual side of Batman. Um, also, there's a quick recommendation, and I would recommend it. Um, there's actually an audiobook drama of it on YouTube for free. I would highly recommend checking that out. That's an awesome audio uh, drama. I've listened to it several times. Um, but that said, going back to the movie, um, it's all one big murder case. Uh, who is the holiday killer? And he only kills on holidays. Um, they, there's also a cool interpretation part of this where they have Calendar Man. Normally he's like a goofy D-list villain. And in this movie, he's more like a Hannibal Lecter type, uh, which is pretty cool actually. I, I, I didn't expect that um, when I initially you know, did the audio drama. Um, his expertise kind of helps Batman. And it's kind of cool to see Batman in the scenario where he's asking questions. He's He's being a detective, you know, he's asking me, point me in the right direction, you know, where, who should I suspect? No, you didn't get lucky. Like, why would they want you alive for a reason? And going from there. Um, animation's great. It, and it feels like a movie. It feels good. Because here's my thing. Um, with Batman the Killing Joke, they took a story that realistically could only be told over the course of about 40, maybe 45 minutes. And they forcibly stretched it to about like an hour 10 by adding in an unnecessary sequence of Barbara Gordon. Um, now with this film, however, they, uh, instead of stretching it out or whatnot, they add more substance to it. They make you guess more who it is. They have more interactions between characters, um, very much. Uh, there's one particular interaction where I believe it's Salvatore Moroni and his son, uh, and they're arguing back and forth. They're not so much arguing. His son tries to make a point, like I sent flowers to so-and-so because it's a smart move. You know, you don't want them to they suspect it was us that tried to kill him because we didn't. Well, didn't. Um, so all that, the, the story plays into it very well. Um, you follow Batman, you follow the case, and you see his interactions with everyone. You see uh, his interactions with Harvey Dent and with, uh, with Commissioner Gordon. And I'd argue you probably don't get that good of a view of Gordon and Dent uh, acting, like their relationship in most of the movies. You kind of get an idea for it in uh, The Dark Knight, which, again, it, Christopher Nolan did take a lot from this uh, comic book to help create The Batman Begins of The Dark Knight. Um, but yeah, fun movie overall. I would recommend it. Uh, it's a good watch. It doesn't drag, which surprised me. Uh, I was expecting for it to drag for a while. No, no real problems. Voice casting is on point, as always, um, and audio effects are also on point, as always. Um, DC Animation, they're becoming a bit of a conveyor belt here, producing more and more great movies. Um, this one was actually announced well over a year ago, and uh, I believe it was last summer they announced it. And it's going to be a two-parter. It's going to follow the Dark Knight Returns kind of thing, where you know they have the one part that's really its own feature film that's really good, and then they're going to have the second part, which is probably going to step it up. Um, one other thing I really want to mention real quick is the Joker's design. It's actually faithful to the source material, but also it's funny. And he's just, 
he acts so much like the Joker. He even tells Batman, of course I'm not Holiday. Like, I would want everyone to know it was me. And that makes sense. And that's part of the great thing about this uh, movie. It makes sense. The the directions each of these, each of these uh, characters want to go fucking makes sense. That's good. I like that. Um, overall, this movie would recommend to any DC film buff. Um, I'd say any movie buff in general. Honestly, if you like a decent detective movie, this is it. But bear in mind, the sequel's not going to come out for some time. Um, if you already read the comics, you know what happens. But nonetheless, even knowing what's going to happen, even knowing the direction of the story that they're going in, I'm still enjoying it. And I love the fact that they didn't break the story so much to a point where you can't really enjoy it. It's not like they butchered it like the very beginning of The Killing Joke. They, they're very faithful to source material. They're just adding more tidbits into it to make you wonder who is Holiday, who is the killer. But that said, I'm going to be signing off for today. Um, if So this is a YouTube exclusive, actually, now that I remember it. Um, if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. We're always trying to grow the channel. Um, also, maybe check out our podcast. The link will be down below. Um, about it. I've been Eddie, and this was The Rollback.